seashells come from? Hi, my name is Robin and I'm the non-living collections manager for Discovery Place. One of the most common items humans collect are seashells. Turns out we have this in common with our ancestors. In fact, archaeologists believe to have found the oldest example of a seashell used as a canvas for carving zigzag shapes that dates back to 500,000 years ago. Humans have modified seashells for many purposes. For use as tools such as hide scrapers and knives, to bowls, oil lamps, even musical instruments. At Discovery Place, we house incredibly fragile seashells that were carved into body adornments, like rings and beads in our archeology span collection. We've even been able to identify the type of marine bivalve these bracelets are made from, the bittersweet clam. However, the majority of the seashells in our collection were gathered to increase our understanding of their biological data. This collection consists of multiple cabinets organized by scientific classifications of each marine animal, including what was once thought to be the world's most rare seashell called the glory of the sea. Examples of the more commonly found seashells include ones like these conchs and whelks. What you might not know is that all of the seashells you find at the beach are made by marine invertebrate animals. Have you ever seen a shell like this on the coast of the Carolinas? Well, they are the exterior coverings of the lightning and knobbed whelk, which are marine snails, known as gastropods. Each whelk is either male or female, and after mating, the female legs egg cases such as these, which can be filled with hundreds of thousands of baby whelks. These embryos develop their shells before they hatch. It's the same shell that grows with them for the rest of their life. So the next time you're at the beach, enjoying your time in the sun and sand, keep your eyes out for seashells of all shapes and sizes. But don't forget to take a peek and check and see if its maker is still inside. And if so, be a good neighbor, toss it back into the water. But if the shell you find is empty, consider leaving it behind so another animal can repurpose the shell like this giant hermit crab. They use empty shells as a protective home since they're not able to make their own. In fact, throughout their lifetime, hermit crabs will require multiple different sized shells as they grow. After all, it's important to remember our temporary vacation spot is an ongoing coastal ecosystem full of vibrant life that must be perfectly balanced to sustain itself. With a small act, you're helping keep our beaches beautiful and lively for future generations to enjoy.